Kevin Durant and LeBron James took slam. some time and spent it with our homegirl, Carrie Champion. Champ is here. In the back of an Uber when LeBron got deep about his life experience. He said, quote, I'm a black man with a bunch of money and having a crib in Brentwood and having the N-word spray painted over my gate. That lets you know I ain't too far removed and I still got a lot of work to do. They will always try to figure out a way to let you know you're still beneath them. Jalen. Yes, sir. What does LeBron's experience tell you about where we are with race in America? As I got older, I started to realize one common denominator that's accepted everywhere. What's By that? each race, creed, color, nationality, country, and or origin. What's that? Money. Hmm. Cash rules everything around me as well. What happens when you grow up in the inner city and you make it to the NBA? You move to the suburbs. There is a distinct way that you're valued and treated in this country based on how much money you make and the zip code that you live in. And it continues to permeate itself, unfortunately, if you're considered a minority, which LeBron James is. And so the ignorance, the ignorance, the racial stereo stereotypes, the bigotry, it's going to happen and sometimes it's right in your face. And so for LeBron, I think it was a, a harsh reality that a lot of us understand exists, but when it's so blatant and flagrant in your face, it becomes a reality check. There's no amount of dollars that you can earn that will separate yourself from this tension that we have in this country. Is that kind of what you're saying? Absolutely. And I know he didn't need for this to happen in order for him to have that of course, reality. Of course. But when you play basketball as well as he does and people underestimate so many other things and that he has his fingerprints on as an entrepreneur, as a mogul, as a producer, as a dad, as a husband, as a philanthropist, like he's become the creme de la creme of what you hope an American should represent. And there's still going to be people to tell him to just shut up and dribble a basketball mm -hmm. and don't have an opinion. And so if, if we're going to be that wear blinders in that manner, then we're not allowing him to grow. We're not allowing him to flourish. But I'm glad he's continued to speak on situations like this because it continued to highlight that we've come so far, but yet we got so far to go. And one thing I like about this is he didn't say we have so far to go. He said, quote, I still got a lot more work to do because he knows he has a lot of influence over society because of his stature. Because he is so good at playing basketball, he has influence over people and people listen to him. He said it. He looked at, I still have work to do. He put it on himself, which I really enjoy. That's why as an athlete, entertainer, public figure, or just a leader or in your community, or how about this, just a taxpaying citizen that is responsible and wants to see this world be a better place. That's all of our obligations. And so the more fame, the more money, the more platform that you're able to carry that message, it is really important to be a beacon of change. Well, I think everyone should check out the video with Kerry Champion and LeBron and Kevin Durant. They spoke a lot about their basketball and their upbringing, and they spoke a lot about the political climate and the racial climate that we have in this country. And it was very enlightening to see two of the biggest stars in the NBA in that relaxed environment speaking on everything.